Domestic violence is never easy to understand, much less combat. The hope of organizations like Red International and the National Women's Commission is that knowing the law will help current and potential victims to act quickly to escape. But first, says retired attorney, former family court judge, and former ombudsman Cynthia Pitts, we must all gain a greater understanding of what the society faces. When I heard that it was a matter of making the law simpler, I began by asking them if they had seen previous publications where that very goal was, was they must make it simple. And they said no, that they had not seen, because the women's departments have, um, they have tried to make it simple. They have produced handbooks and pamphlets. So, you know, this, this group of young persons, you know, they are starting to do something which other persons have, um, have thought, thought to do. One of the ones that come up often is to have mechanisms that can record data because we don't really know the, the extent of the violence in this country, domestic violence. And we all want to fix things, but we want to fix things without having knowledge of how big the problem is and what it is. You know, and that is one of them, the data mechanisms. What it boils down to, according to Rex Deidre Bennett, is making domestic violence, victims and potential victims, many of them young, aware of their rights and protections. As individuals, we all have rights. So we need to know what our rights are and what rights that we are infringing upon and what rights protect us. So I believe the entire act, we need to know, hence the reason why we didn't just take one section of the act. We are trying to do the entire act. So that is what RET is trying to do. We want them to know that each part is important. Okay, so today's consultation, or today's meeting, is with whom specifically, and what are these persons going to be asked to do at the end? So the meeting is with RET International in collaboration with the National Women's Commission. And basically, the National Women's Commission is the legislative body. They will help us at the end. They will be the ones to guide us with this process because it's used. So we want that expert advice from the National Women's Commission who deals directly with this sort of issues. Pitt says awareness and resources need to be extended to those on the front line, especially the Belize Police Department's Domestic Violence Unit. In the police department, there is a, there is a protocol, a domestic violence protocol that should be followed. Now I know there is a domestic, domestic violence unit within the police department, but I don't know if that protocol is being followed. You know, and so that is one area. There are protocols, but if these things are not followed, then we are not giving the help that the women need. Um, when it comes to shelters, there is only one shelter in the whole of the country. That is not good enough. That shelter has been there for years. And so is it that there has not been an increase in the problems that the shelter can still remain the same? You know, and so... Then that is one of the things that the UN committee has commented on, that there is a need for more shelters. There is a need to follow the protocol. There is a need for data mechanisms to be set up so that we know exactly what we are dealing with. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.